Hello everyone, my name is Richard from Home Tech Video. In this video we're going to cover profiles in, within Blue Iris, um, why we'd want to use profiles and how to set them up. So profiles are used to have cameras behave differently based on the time of day, um, what day of the week it is. You can have it manually change um, through different profiles and you can also have different profiles change automatically based on your smartphone's physical location. Um, this is also referred to as geofencing, which I'll show you how to set up in another video. Now, why would you want to have profiles and why would you even want to have the setup? Um, profiles basically really allow you to customize how your system behaves. Um, for example, you can have all of your cameras recording while you're at work and receive picture messages if you have a package delivered on your front door. Or if there's anybody that steps on your front door, it'll send you a picture message while you're at work. And then when you get home, you can have certain cameras turn off. Um, so if you have indoor cameras, you can disable your indoor cameras where you're at home and also turn off any type of notifications on your front door uh, picture message wise so you don't get you know picture messages while you're at home and your kids are running in and out the front door. Uh, you can also adjust your camera sensitivity higher during nighttime and then lower it back down during the day. So in this video we're going to do an example of how to set up a profile. I'm going to set up a profile while I'm at work and uh, have all my cameras going and active during the day. And then when I get home, I'm going to have a couple of my cameras turn off and only have one camera recording. So let's go ahead and jump right in how to set this up. Once you have an idea of how you want your profiles to behave, what you're going to want to do is name the profiles. To name your profile, you're going to go over to the Options button and then click on Profiles. Now by default, how your cameras are currently behaving, if you've never set up a profile, is going to be saved to Profile 1. In my example, I have all of my cameras recording 24-7, and I'm going to go ahead and name this under Profile 1, At Work, because I want all of my cameras to record while I'm at work, and that's already set up that way how I had my cameras set up before. I'm going to go ahead and set up Profile 2 while I'm at home. And then while I'm on, under Profile 2, I'm going to go and disable a couple of cameras and then turn off recording under Profile 2. The right side over here is your temp time. Now what temp time is, is the amount of time that your profile will stay active for if you manually change it. So by default they're set to 480 minutes. So if I go into my Blue Iris app on my phone and change a profile uh, manually, then it's going to stay uh, active on that profile for 480 minutes, um, 8 hours. After 8 hours it's going to go back to default and switch to the profile, whatever profile I have active during that active schedule. Um, you can play around with this if you want. I leave them by default 480 because I really don't mess around with um, and change them by, you know, I don't manually go in and change my profiles too much. So uh, once you have your profiles name, so I have at work and at home, you're going to just hit OK. It's going to save those now. So now profile 1 is at work, profile 2 is at home. So I'm going to go and select profile 2 because I already have profile 1 set up how I want. Um, all of my cameras record under profile one, so that's going to be my at work. Now I'm going to go ahead and start configuring profile two. Now when I have profile two selected, if I go into any of the camera properties now, you're going to be altering the camera properties for the time that profile two is selected. For example, let's say I don't want my backdoor camera here to be active at all during this profile. So what I can do is I can right click on my backdoor uh, camera, go to camera properties, and while under general, I can uncheck active during profile 2 and then hit OK. This means while I have camera profile 2 selected, I'm at home, my backdoor camera is not going to be working whatsoever because I don't need to know what's happening in my backdoor while I'm at or in my backyard while I'm at home. But while I'm at work, I definitely want to know if somebody jumped my fence or if somebody's in the backyard. Make sense? Uh, I can also change the uh, notifications. So in my example earlier, I can go in into my front door camera, right click, go to camera properties, and under alerts, while I'm at home, I don't want to receive any more messages. So under camera or under profile one while I'm at work, I'll receive an SMS message if anybody if I get an alert on my front door. But when I'm under profile two, I have it unchecked. So Profile 2 will no longer send me SMS messages when somebody comes on my front door. 
Another, one, uh, another profile button that I want to show you over here is the inactive profile button. I covered this in another video, but in short, what this does is it um, disables all of the recording and disables all alerts and all notifications when you have this selected. Um, I use this in particular to have all of my cameras disabled and the live feed shut off. Um, I only use this when I'm needing to export video files um, to save on CPU power because in my computer, I have seven cameras and my, my CPU hovers you know, around 50%. So when I'm exporting and reviewing videos, I need that CPU power to be used to review and to export. I don't need to have my live view and going on and be recording during that time. So um, when I have the inactive profile tab selected, I can disable the camera by going to camera properties, schedule, and then uncheck, uncheck continue to display and stream video while active. And this will shut off that camera while you have your inactive profile button enabled. So the last thing I want to cover is how to copy profile settings from one profile to another. This is useful, for example, in your motion detection settings. If you have a camera set up exactly how you want them with the zones, the motion sensitivity, all of that, you can copy that setting from one to another profile without needing to go in and set them all up again. So and to do that, what you want to do is you want to have the profile active that you want to copy. Right click on the camera, go to camera properties. I'm going to go into trigger. And now anything that I have selected now in the profile one, such as my motion sensitivity and my zones, all of these settings are going to be copied once I hit copy paste all. And what it's going to do, it's going to take all of the settings that I have um, currently active under this profile, and it's going to copy them to the rest of the other profiles. Now, an example, if I don't want them to copy to the other profiles, I just want them to go into an, uh, a specific one. I can hit copy, select the one I want them to copy to, for example, at home, and then just hit paste. So it's only going to take my motion, sense, motion settings from this at work profile to the other one at home. This is also handy for when you're messing around with the recording settings. Um, have it set up exactly how you want with the uh, trigger buffer, the combine or cut video, and then also your compression settings. So you can get these how you want to have it set exactly how you like it, and then hit copy paste to all. Um, this is important too because uh, it'll help you remember to do your direct to disk recording if you had that selected on that one profile because you might set all your settings and change them how you want and then forget to do this one change. Um, by default, the re-encode uh, with settings is checked. So you have all your settings up here exactly how you want. Activate that profile and you go from using 20% CPU usage to 70% and you have no idea why. And the reason is because you forgot to change the direct to disk um, option under that profile. So that basically covers profiles, how to, how to use them and how to set them up. Uh, in the next video, we're going to cover how scheduling works and how to have these profiles activate during specific times of day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.